Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye and Ewa Oritu. Hey guys, how you doing? Kilong Pop. Fine. <sighs> I'm good. All right, moving on to the main stories um, for the day. Oh, good. Uh, massage oh, therapist the who <laughs> accused Kevin Spacey is dead. The deceased accused Spacey of sexually assaulting him during a session in October 2016. No further information was disclosed, but the anonymous massage therapist filed suit in September 2018, alleging that Spacey had forced him to grab um, his genitals and try to kiss him during a session in Malibu. Spacey's attorney filed a notice in the federal court on Tuesday, stating that the plaintiff's attorney notified him of the death on September 11. Um, so, <laughs> Kevin, a bit Kevin, it's Kevin, a bit space. Let me just call him space. I think I should call him space. Yeah, the the way he comes out of his case is usually questionable. <laughs> like you won't be able to fully rejoice yeah, because the House of Cards is about that. Mm -hmm. Right, like it came to my mind, man. Like this is just real life House of Cards, mm. but I don't know how to feel about it. But I, I don't know if I'm it's... I'm allowed to say I'm happy for him, but. <laughs> <laughs> you say somebody is dead, they are people that somebody is dead. No, 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 but that, don't yeah. cut for his, The case is going to be dropped somehow, like, so. No, 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 no. They have about 14 days for the estate of the um, um, dead person mm. to come forward as the representative. But you know he's been anonymous, he's been John Doe yeah, all the Yeah, he's been John Doe all the while. So mm -hmm. if his family decides to come out and say, oh yeah, we are the family of John Doe, but I don't think they will win the case, hmm. even if they come forward to Actually, continue you know the case. That. You're not a law enforcement agent. I'm just, I'm not saying it's a sad thing that they will not, I just, I don't think, I personally okay. don't think yeah, that they will I win the case. Yeah, but I believe, maybe because I personally think the law works, especially out there. But the law, but the, the the law only works witness, based on the, the only evidences and the witnesses you place I mean, the only the witness exactly. in this case is dead. dead. But this is a John Doe case that we have not even been abreast with the case because it's a John Doe, so they're not going to give you the other information like rap who accused um, Kevin Spacey in the past and the case was thrown out. I don't even know about the actor, rap, mm. the young actor that said um, Kev, um, Kevin also groped him in some very inappropriate manner. Mm. So if these people actually have evidences, they have footages, so we, it's not right for us to start saying the case will, start, will be thrown out. It, because it's made. Oh, no, I'm asking that in 14 days, if the estates do not file, maybe the case will be thrown out. But let's wait for 14 days. To but what if 14 days does not stop the fact that um, if the, the proceedings the of the case so far has <laughs> not shown any positivity, at the end of the day, even How if you are Jane Doe, this person has been a, a John Doe, even if you are John Day or John, whatever you want to call yourself, it's it, what it stops is your. Um, um, identity. It's not put mm. out there. It doesn't stop the facts and um, whatever that is happening in the case. Th that they don't hide we that. We just don't know what you. You, you don't know, know who the person is. On. It's just like the case of um, Chris and the rape case, Chris Brown and the rape case that was happening. But most people knew the beginning and the end of the case. The only thing is that we don't know who this lady is. So it's this is not, not a, a lady. This is a man. Um, uh, for Chris, it's a lady now. It's Chris' case, not a lady. If a, nobody's saying <sighs> that case is 100% going to be dismissed, do you get? But why, what we're saying is that if they pursue that case, the chances of them winning is very, very How do you low. know that? This is a John Doe case. You don't even know anything about If why are you case? making the John Doe case look like there's a particular John, John, John Doe, Doe story? When it's a John Doe follow. case, you're not supposed to know the process. You're not supposed to know anything about no, the case. No, you just are not supposed to know the identity, that's all. You're not supposed to know the identity. That's Maybe all. They're that's... not going to reveal certain information about the case. Some things became clear to me about this John Doe. I knew about this John Doe case since 2017, since mm -hmm. the case was filed but I did not know certain things about 
Was it filed in 2017 or 2018? It was filed in 2017. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't know anything about the groping and forceful kissing and all of that, which I just knew was sexual harassment and um, sexual assault and all of that. It's, but now you didn't that the, know. You just it's always been groping kids from the day one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what I'm so saying. Like, you didn't oh. know that part. Okay, fine. Which is why on this table, we've talked about him having. I remember Ife Omai was saying he has so many. When we were talking about the phone case that that one is gone mm. and where we just and like he has so many that it's looking like okay you probably did one or two of these cases it's not just one right but anyways we'll see how this plays out and uh, may the dead rest in peace basically mm. i think they should just allow that man rest in peace Whatever they should they allow him rest in peace without justice like what are we saying on this table if uh, i said they should allow the man rest in peace the john doe yes. yes without getting justice even though he's dead but do you know that this John Doe, he might actually be lying. Well, he might actually be lying. So let the court, let the law take it. Because you're, you're acting like you already know the truth and the beginning We're and the end of the case. We're not saying the case. Okay, like, yeah. Yeah. That's not what we are saying. That's what exactly No, what that's saying. what you're hearing. That's not what anybody on this table okay, is saying. I call then. All right, moving on to the next story. Cardi B worries Tekashi 6 9 will be snitching on her assault case. She denies 6 9s claim on the third day of trial that she is a member of the old gang, Nightray, but suggested she is a blood. But then she has um, deleted the tweets, and um, I mean, Tekashi has been trending. <laughs> it's <laughs> been a very um, funny but not one. funny um, conversation <laughs> online, and he's been speaking. Um, I think the part that caught my attention is where he said he he watched his own video, he was nodding to the video and vibing and then pointing out the members of the gang in the video. I'm like, this guy is I not here I think he has just made up play. his mind to bring everybody down, even if he's going to die. He and he actually really turned in 24 point. hours. He didn't even stay long before he told them, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Like, it's, it's funny, but we'll see how this plays out. It's, but he's singing. Hmm. And everybody's scared because I mean, if you know that you've done something bad and it mm -hmm. is about it, you're really, really scared. And Cardi B, I don't. According to her tweets, kind of, she's not totally denying that she's not. Um, she does not belong to any gang. Mm -hmm. She's just saying that she belongs to kind of, not like in a direct ways, but she's like she suggested oh, it. She suggested it that she belongs to another gang groups, and gang is gang. Mm. It's just the what name. gang group? Blood. Brain blood. Yeah. <sighs> mm. Go on. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Go on with it. All right, so Cardi B never suggested that she belongs to the gang blood. <laughs> so the only thing Cardi B suggested is that um, the assault against Jade, who is Takashi's girlfriend, because it was before he was incarcerated, was... Hold on, did you read it to it? Madam. Can I speak? You spoke. Don't ask me no question while I'm speaking. So while I was speaking... <laughs> I said that Takashi's girlfriend, Jade, also said that um, the assault was perpetrated by the gang Blood. Cardi B never suggested that she was a member of the gang. According to law documents, if you go through the documents of the case being filed against Cardi B, you would know that the people that perpetrated the crime, even though Cardi Cardi B was seen throwing a nice bucket towards Jade, who she suspected was dating Offset, a husband at the time, was done by the Blood Gang, which is a nine tray Blood Gang. So she did this using a gang. But it doesn't mean she belongs to a gang. Mm -hmm. You don't even know about the gang. No, it's interesting that you are. No, 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 hold on. It's interesting that you're breaking it down now because it's now. It may be safe to say for me. It's safe for me to say that um, ninety percent of the media in America don't on did not or maybe suggested wrong of the tweets. You're the one understanding her tweets better than all of them. Because what we're saying on this table is what we saw. That we're not talking about her case. case. No, 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 that I, her tweet suggested. That Nobody's saying she is. Yes. yes. So why are we talking about suggestions instead of facts? 
Okay, so let's keep talking about the facts. So what is it that we don't know or the media do what not What you don't know you know and what I'm going to explain mm -hmm. to you is that Cardi B perpetrated the crime using a gang. We all know that. But what we're saying on this table right now is that, is that is it's about Takashi's like confession, confession and her confession. reaction. Yes. Okay, so are you saying Cardi B is part of the blood? Oh my God. If I, did you listen when I said that? Okay, that I think this is getting heated. So and Cardi B is that, not here to respond. She's part of the blood gang. She's part of the blood gang. Yes. All right, fine. Good. It's time for a quick break. But when we return, it will be time for some more stories. We'll be right back. I said my baby, they my baby. It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Oh, duh. How would you hurt? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump star. I probably haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like 100 people asking for help a day. That's a fact. I can prove that. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story. Young sis threatens to sue after being wrongfully accused of theft by a jewelry store in the US. Okay, I'm not sure we have that video, but I will let you know if we do. But See, eh, I don't know if I'm supposed to laugh or to understand him. Or I mean, I understand the Black Black Lives Matter mm. movement, but um, there was a level of unseriousness in his video. I am not going to say I understand it, but I guess that's the person he is because I've never met young sis. I don't think I've really paid attention to mm. his interviews or how he talks. But um, if this really happened, then it's, it's very sad. And I hope, and if you really want to sue, then you should be on the phone to your lawyer, not making videos on Instagram, but everybody processes things differently. Mm. And um, good luck to him if that really happens. So he has the right to sue. Yeah. OK. <clears throat> like you said, good luck to him if that really happens. But I think it's just publicity stunts for his new um, single that is coming out. So that's just what I think about it. I think it's just publicity stunts. So mm. I really don't have anything A man was being it. profiled by the American police force for allegedly stealing the jury, a case that is still ongoing, that is still being investigated, that was let out, and we all we can conclude is that it's publicity stunts. Wow, that is amazing, as far as I'm concerned. Because I think that what we need to actually focus on is that, look, out there, they really do not give a hoot about who we are. They really do not give a hoot about our reputation. They really do not give a hoot about anything we do. They just look at us as, you're black, so you must be a criminal. And which is a narrative we're trying to change. I remember we had Idia ask Eisen on the show recently, and she was talking about changing the narrative of the Nigerian government, the Nigerian economy, the Nigerian culture, from how the um, Westerners always narrate our story. So you we're trying to change our story, and one of our celebrities is coming out to say that, look, all black lives matter, because I was racially profiled. I think we should focus more on that instead of the publicity stunt. Even if this is going to serve as a proper publicity stunt for him, for his record, it's a business move. But at the end of the day, what actually happened was this man held because he was black? Has he been proven guilty? Those are the questions we need to ask. Now, if these questions are properly answered and Young says ends up being guilty, then we'll hold on to the fact that, look, this is another Nigerian that has disappointed us. But if this ends up being another young black man, successful, that went to a jewelry store and he was accused, we even had the likes of David Doe and his crew being accused of stealing jewelry from a jeweler store. And then they went back and forth and back and forth, and we didn't hear anything about the story anymore. Now, that's a David O. That's not even a young six. So these things actually do happen. We have the people like ASAP Rocky, who, 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 who was held up in um, Sweden for over a month for being racially profiled. And at the end of the day, the case was thrown out. Now, 
I think our focus should be that should we be racially profiled because we're human, we're all black. Okay, so what's the opinion on his video? On his and video his and all of that, I did not notice any um, sarcasm like you did. Okay. I didn't notice any of that because mm -hmm. I noticed a man that got out of jail mm -hmm. and was putting it out there to let the people out there know that, look, I was racially profiled by a jeweler and they held me down because I'm black and they did this because I am black, and which is what we are fighting against. In fact, this is also applicable to the xenophobic act of the South Africans, which I always refer to as the Afrophobic Act. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a black against black, but in this case, it was in America, which is a Western world, mm -hmm. and it was profiled. And because of that, he got out of jail, meaning there was nothing against the young man. Mm -hmm. If there was something against him. He was probably still be in jail, right? Mm -hmm. But this man got out, and then the next thing we can think about is the popular. Must we always think about the negativity instead of the positivity in every story we hear, changing our narrative? Even if this is a publicity stunt at the end of the day. But the fact cannot be changed that this man was arrested unjustly. Okay, so um, I think Ewa said she thinks. She's not saying it is clearly a publicity I'm saying that shouldn't even be a so thought. So she has the right. I mean, there has been conversations on this table and you have brought up publicity stunts and nobody has attacked you for that. I'm not attacking anybody. And then anybody. secondly... Am I, am I attacking um, anybody? There is something no, I can you say for no, a fact I'm not I'm attacking that question. anybody? There is something I need to okay, correct good. also from what you said. Mm. You said that um, even if it's publicity stunts, then it's a business move. That statement, if, I mean, this is not, or we're not saying outrightly that it's his publicity stunt. But no, if then it you is, didn't listen correctly, because I said, even if it's publicity stunt, and it is it not is, even right, I said, because I this said, is listen, listen, the listen. same I said, space listen, Juicy can you, found can you just himself, listen, can you just and listen. it's something that nobody will accept, because Black Lives Matter is a serious movement. So I'm hoping and I'm believing this is not publicity stunt. And if it is, then it is not acceptable, whether it's for business move or to promote a record or to promote a song, it is not acceptable. That's okay. all I have to say. Great. All right, moving on to the next story. I believe my generation has been weak, and this is coming from Don Jazzy. In a post on Twitter on Thursday, the record label boss said, and I quote, I believe my generation has been weak and almost equally at fault for the state Nigeria is in today. We have been too weak and cowardly to challenge our fathers at the age they built the courage and decided to fight theirs. That's their father. Um, not everyone, but I for one have been idle on the fence. The world's top 10 youngest heads of government slash states are all below 40 years. I also noticed many of them are heading parliamentary and monarchy governments. Is it, um, is it a huge tax for youth to be elected to rule in presidential governments? And that's a question from him, basically. So I like how Don Jazzy put out his opinion because he was not trying to take himself out of the equation. Mm. If there's anything I got from it is him even waking himself up to say, I have influence, I need to do more. And mm. since he dropped this tweet, if you're following him, because I follow him, he's been um, dropping so many facts and figures and asking questions about why are we still here and why are we still doing this? And I'm glad that he is doing this because he has the voice, he has the influence, and I think his voice will go way more than the voice of somebody like me, you know? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> there are levels to these things, like I always say. So. I'm glad he's doing this. I'm glad he's coming for me, me angle, not we or you. Most, because out even after saying that, somebody was like, hey, "This starts with you." And my mind, I'm wondering, are did you, you not? Read? Did you not read? <laughs> right. So, I'm glad he's doing this, and I'm glad he's um, bringing facts and figures to this table. And um, if you don't follow him, then maybe you should follow him and add, lend your voice to the voice of the dawn. Because I think that's a <laughs> hashtag. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm, I like what he did, and you know what they say about power. Nobody gives power to you. You have to fight for it, mm -hmm. and that's what that's why we've been saying that our youth we should wake up and do something. These people will probably not hand power over. I mean, power is sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to fight for it and get it. And I like what Don is doing. Let's all keep doing that. That's what, that's what I said yesterday. If all the celebrities come out in one voice, I mean, we'll pull, we'll pull those people down, the bad people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ife. I agree with both of you. 
Okay, so um, our final story is on Dave, who wins Mercury Prize for his debut album, Psycho Drama. So um, I must confess, this is the first time I'm hearing about this guy. And I've gone back to listen to his album, and I mean, it is dope. And it's something you want to listen to and be on a very deep vibe. And I also like the story around his um, career. He's been dead. This is not the first time. Um, even though I'm just hearing about him, but he's been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. He talked about the psychodrama being um, inspired by his brother. His brother is incarcerated and his brother goes through um, some form of therapy every time. And this is off the back of his brother's story and all that. And I think he was asked therapy if Therapy is he... actually called psychodrama. What? Therapy. In yeah, general, so... It's actually called psychodrama. Yeah, so, so he was asked if it. he has told his brother about the um, award thing and it was like very soon that definitely his next visit, that's going to be what they will talk about. Yeah, so call away. It's um, very emotional and I'm happy for him also because he said his um, mom did not support initially, but right now she has no choice, right? So I think I'm happy for him and he has a new fan basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm happy for him, so congratulations to him. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations to Dave. Okay, and that's how we wrap up on this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. I thank you as always. You go to my co-anchors, Elwa Ritu and Ifeo Luo Shuke, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying be happy, stay smiling, and be beautiful.